alpha editor. We're going to be doing it with a level I made. It only took me around, I guess, 20 or 30 minutes due to a few bugs. Well, not a few, there's a lot of bugs. Now, <laughs> after you watch me play through this level I designed, I'm going to show you one of the major bugs with the le alpha level editor, whatever you want to call it. The early access, the hidden level editor, too. You do not have access to this unless you use a modified executable or modify your own executable. It will not show up on the menu despite being in the game. I guess Deniton thinks that it's too unfinished to really let anybody else use, which I can get, sort of, because it is in a pretty poor state. None of the bugs are really stated. There's no real instruction manual. It's just there. Now, after beating the level, or playing it even, when you go back to the level editor, you know, everything looks fine, and then you'll try and play it again, right? Now, for some reason, the bug didn't occur here. It actually worked pretty damn fine, just like, oh, okay. The bug didn't happen. Now, the bug is normally all of the textures on the ground, the tiles, would be gone. And they reset themselves, which is weird. Really weird. I don't know why, I don't want to know why, and it's kind of stupid, because it can happen, like, any time you play a level, and it seems to be normally after you playtest the level, and you reload it, and playtest it again, all of your tiles will be gone, and then if you save the level and reload it, all of your tiles will be actually gone in the editor too, which is bad, because you don't want that to happen, because most of your level is based on tiles, it's still playable, without tiles, but it just doesn't look as damn good. This is an alpha, but that's something that you should know if you try to use it. Because a lot of people are tempted to. I was. I went ahead and downloaded a leaked version of the game just to play it, and then I realized, oh, you can modify your executable to do it instead, which is good. Now I can get rid of 500 megabytes on my hard drive, just sit in there do nothing. Now here is the error. As you can see, the level looks really ugly. There's no backgrounds, and there's no little square things holding everything together, which is annoying, and it just looks really bad. I go ahead and play through this anyway, because even though the whole cosmetic aspect of the level is gone, the gameplay is still there. So this isn't like game-breaking if you just want to make levels and play them while you wait for the actual level editor to come out. Now my one issue with the level editor right now is an issue I realized was going to be a problem when I ripped some of the sprites from Hotline Miami 2 with the WAD editor. It's a big issue. A really big issue. A lot of the sprites aren't meant to hold more than a few weapons. They're meant for specific enemies. You can only use certain enemies with certain characters because, for example, the Sun doesn't have a sprite where he's holding the AK or the Kalishkanov or the double barrel, and the fans don't either. Actually, the fans do, but you can't use them with any of those enemies on the level editor. Also, I just reloaded it, and as you can see, all of the sprites are gone. Well, not the sprites, the tiles. You get me, though. Now, this is going to be an issue when it comes to the editor, if it isn't fixed by Deniton. That might be one of the reasons it's not released yet, because the sprite sheets are incapable of allowing these characters to play against enemies with weapons that they aren't sprited for, which is going to be a problem, especially for people who want to make levels where, like, you attack the Colombians as the fans, or anything like that. It just adds limitations which are going to suck for people who want to make levels like me. Of course, they could fix this, but they'd have to add stuff to the sprite sheets. I mean, it wouldn't be too hard. You can make the sprites pretty easily too. Since they're pretty simplistic, they could probably just take some of the sprites from other characters or even enemies and just retexture them. Who knows? We don't know yet. This is alpha. This is super alpha. Now, if you want to access it, I'm going to link a Reddit post, even though I hate Reddit, with instructions on how to get the editor to work. Because my last video contained a 500 megabyte or so RAR, which is an early version of the game with the editor still in it. So go ahead and do that if you want. Remember, it's not finished, it's nowhere near finished, and have a nice day.